Hey, we're here in the Creative Live offices in San Francisco, California, and I am Evelyn Danford, one of the newer hosts here at Creative Live. And we have the pleasure of speaking with Travis Hodges from the UK today. Um, we're really excited to talk to you. I just wanted to get started by introducing yourself and tell us a little bit about who you are. Um, thank you. <laughs> really nice to be here. Um, lovely to be in San Francisco, sun shining, which is great. Uh, as you mentioned, I'm over from the UK, a uh, photographer, portrait mm -hmm. photographer over there. Um, and I shoot for, for brands, for companies, for magazines, um, and shoot personal work as well. So. Great. And can you tell me a little bit about your photography work and what kind of got you into that? What made it mm. something that you just had to do? Um, well, I always tell people that I picked up a camera because I can't draw. <laughs> and <laughs> it's kind of, kind of true. Um, at school, I can relate. <laughs> yeah, uh, at, at school I really loved art um, and when I discovered that there was a photography course that I could have taken, mm -hmm. uh, I jumped at it and absolutely fell in love with the process, the dark room, which is all but gone now, uh, watching prints appear in a tray. Yeah. Um, and then slowly but surely it kind of started to become something that I thought that I could actually take on and do as a job. Right. Um, and yeah, so I, I, I did start at school and went to university and studied photography. Let's talk about a little bit about that, that line that you have to cross between it being a complete passion project and then you realizing, okay, I want to do this and I want to make money doing this and how you get there. Yeah, it's, uh, for me, it was yeah. a slow process, learning all of those different bits because you, do un you don't understand when you first start mm -hmm. that it's not just as simple as taking pictures. Right. You've got to run your own business. Mm -hmm. You've got to cover all of the bases yourself. And there are skills that I still don't have all of them. It's a, <laughs> it's a work in progress. Yeah, yeah, and you're still learning how to be your own like, bookkeeper and how <laughs> to be your own marketing person. Yeah. Um, so it's all of those different things and that's what separates doing it as purely as a passion and doing it as a business, actually knowing the ins and outs of how to run a photography business. So Travis, you worked on um, one of your more recent projects that involves social media and Twitter. Mm -hmm. I was very excited when I came across it. I thought it was a brilliant idea. It's called Follow Me. Um, it's a cr incredible. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Can you tell us a little bit more about it? Um, so the project is based around Twitter. Yeah. Um, and I, it, very basically, I went out and photographed a string of connections through Twitter. Each person that I photograph selects the next from those that they follow, making an unbroken chain of relationships. Yeah. Um, and each image is built around their online persona, their online identity. So there's little clues to who they are. Right. So hopefully the viewer will find a connection that they might want to go and explore and meet this person on social media themselves. Yeah, and what's fascinating is each person that you kind of happened upon, in a sense, is a very interesting individual, which is really cool also that you, you don't think your network is gonna have this many really amazing people, but it does. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's fascinating to me, all these individual lives. Um, what's wonderful, I think, is that everybody has something special. Everybody has something yeah. unique or interesting or intriguing about them. And part of my job as a portrait photographer is to bring that to the surface. Sure. So while some of them are big characters, mm -hmm. and it's very easy to do that, <laughs> um, some of them it's more, it's more subtle. Yeah. Um, but that's kind of, Part of, part of the craft of being a portrait photographer. Can you tell us um, quickly exactly how we can follow along with mm. your project Follow Me on Twitter? Absolutely, so um, each time I shoot a new portrait, it goes live on my website, um, travishodges.co.uk. Okay. Uh, and obviously being connected to Twitter, you can follow me and I tweet about it and follow the other people in the project. Uh, my Twitter handle is at travishodgesuk. So the Twitter handle is at Travis Hodges UK. Mm -hmm. And then the website is Travis, Travis Hodges. Dot co dot UK. Yes, absolutely. Gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> Just want to get it straight. Real quickly, I know that you have won a few awards along the way. And I mean, aside from, I think that it just, it, as an artist, it kind of reminds you that, yes, I'm on the right track. But can you tell me a little bit about those awards and what they meant to you and how they might have helped you along your, your path? Yeah. Um, I think awards are very important for you, not just winning them, entering them, yes. because you learn what you're entering, you learn why you're doing it, you have to write about your work, you have to explain yourself, and that as a process is really important as well. It allows you to um, 
be a bit better at explaining your art when you go for a meeting or you're presenting to a client. Mm -hmm. um, so that side of just entering is really, really useful. That's a great um, point. <laughs> I'm, I'm very lucky to have won a couple of, uh, a couple of awards for my work. Um, and the two of them came from my graduation project from university. Uh, so I shot a documentary project uh, about teenagers and their lack of something to do, essentially. Um, <laughs> it was titled Dead Time, okay. which was the time in the evening when there isn't anything for them to be doing. There was nothing in the town for, for them, but they weren't allowed to be at home because maybe their parents didn't want them there. So they were literally hanging around on street corners. Um, and I don't know if you've got the, the term here in the, in the US about hoodies. Hoodies. You know what a hoodie is? Enlighten us. Hooded jacket. Oh, sure, so, sure, yeah. yeah. Um, in the UK, particularly in the UK media, or a few years ago, there was a big thing about hoodies being the scary, kind of dangerous teenagers. Um, and so I went out to meet these hoodies, hoodies. these scaries. Gotcha. Um, and found that they really were very scary. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that usually how it goes? <laughs> That's the thing. So, um, so yeah, that was the project that I shot. And Good. that um, uh, received a, a Jerwood Prize which is a prize for photography, largely focused on art photography. And it came third in the Observer Hodge Awards, uh, which is a more documentary-based competition. Okay. So it's really nice to see the work recognized or seen by very different viewpoints. Um, always interesting to see how people interpret your work from their own perspective. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, so in terms of style, Travis, mm. you definitely have a style that I pick up on, and I'm not a photographer. I mean, I do it via Instagram and that's it. <laughs> and I can okay. pick up that you have a very specific Travis Hodges style to your work. Um, I'd love to hear you talk a little bit more about that for the photographers out there, what, what that means, how you found it, and what you do to really grab that each time. Um, yeah, I think it's, it's an ongoing process, yeah. always. You, you're, you develop your style, what you're shooting, um, and how you're shooting. I mean, I, when I was at university, I started, I didn't even know I was going to be a portrait photographer. Um, so I think your photographic style comes, the more you shoot, the more it develops. Mm -hmm. um, I started off shooting medium format exclusively, mm -hmm. um, and I love working with bold colors. Um, so I think that kind of pushed across as I started using um, digital right. and adding lighting to my work. I think the, the bold colors and the kind of the strong lighting is something that I've practiced at and taught myself to be able to go into any situation and, and light it. Um, right. But yeah, as, as, far as, as far as actually creating a style, I think it, it's something that comes naturally and organically. Um, and I think it's very hard to actually decide I'm going to have this style and work from it unless you're copying somebody else. That's, that's very true. Now, when you go in to, to do a portrait, do you um, think about your, your routine or is it something conscious or does it just kind of happen authentically for you? Um, I will go in with an idea in mind, mm -hmm. um, whether it be from the environment that I know I'm going into or the person that I'm photographing. And right. I'll go in with a couple of kind of sketches in my head, yeah. uh, but then it becomes very organic um, to be able to grasp the kind of moment to use a, a situation or an environment or something that comes up while you're talking to somebody and the kind of serendipitous moment that yeah. comes. Um, with, I'm photographing people, not inanimate <laughs> objects. So that kind of uh, the, the organic development of a shoot, I, I find really, really important. So I'm not particularly kind of structured with my lighting or with my setups. I like things to kind of evolve in a shoot. Um, Travis, I'd like to talk to you a little bit about what it's like to be a photographer and the business aspect of things, especially and specifically in the UK mm. and where you're living right now. So if you would just kind of enlighten me and what that is and what you're... Okay, um, well, I've been full-time professional for three and a half years, mm -hmm. so I'm still on the upward learning curve. Sure. Um, I'm still very honest about the gaps in my knowledge, as we talked about before, mm -hmm. but um, I think London is the centre uh, in the UK for photography. Yeah. Um, if you're going to be shooting commercially, that's where the clients are. That's mm -hmm. where the advertising agencies, the magazines are all based. Right. Um, so it's almost a prerequisite to be there, yeah. even in the digital age. Um, and it's a very small world. I'm sure it's the same here in the US, it is, but it um, is. <laughs> you'll find that 
people move around from agency to agency um, and your contacts go with them. So it's probably a universal thing that it's those relationships that really make your career progress. Uh, you is, there, is there something that you've found that has really helped you build and maintain those relationships as people move and change within their own lives? Um, yeah, to, to maintain those relationships is organization. Yeah. It's the, the biggest piece of advice I can give to anyone wanting to be a professional photographer uh, or a freelance anything, mm -hmm. get organized. Um, <laughs> Absolutely. And I wish I'd known that a long, long time ago. <laughs> but the more you can actually work out what you're going to be doing and why you're doing it so that you can use that information in the future, it mm -hmm. really, really helps. Whether it be contacting someone and knowing what you've spoken to them about before mm -hmm. uh, allows a follow-up contact to be much more personal. Um, whether it be sending pieces of mail out to, to people and actually personalizing rather than sending out a much bigger mail shot, right. um, that's where your connections are gonna, gonna happen. And then word of mouth and producing good work. Well, yeah, of course, <laughs> Those, absolutely. It's kind of come in front of everything. So when you have a conversation with somebody, do you take notes? about like the main topics that you, you touched on so that you can keep it personal the following time or do you have this like brilliant mind kind of memory? No, <laughs> my, my memory is terrible. Um, so yeah, I mean I, I try and take notes uh, okay. whether it be when I'm actually speaking to somebody or after a, a meeting. Um, but yeah, it's yeah. Kind of, you show your portfolio and you, you should be learning from people's reactions to your work as well. Right. What are your biggest challenges uh, specifically within within your city and within the UK, mm -hmm. on, from a business standpoint, being a freelancer and being a photographer, what kind of thing, hurdles yeah. do you come up against? Um, well, first, as with everywhere, competition. Of course, There's yeah. a lot of photographers out there, a lot producing great work. Mm -hmm. So it's important to find ways to step yourself uh, you know, above or to set yourself apart from other people. And that, for me, firstly, is shooting personal work. Because yeah. most of the work that I get commissioned to do comes off the back of someone seeing a personal project that I've shot. I love that. I, um, I mean, <laughs> and it's it's so true. It sounds so simple, right. but if you're shooting, people see what you want to shoot, mm -hmm. and then they get inspired by, by what you do, what you get, what you're passionate about. Sure. Um, so get out there and do work, whether you're getting paid or you know, start doing some work that you care about. And absolutely. The money comes. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, hopefully. <laughs> but but yeah. yeah, that's that's kind of what it's all about. You know, yeah. the the personal work leads to the work, or hopefully leads to work commissioned work. Terrific, terrific. And um, we did talk a little bit about a group that you organize. Hmm. Photo Forum. Photo Forum. Thank you. Yes, um, and that's photo hyphen forum dot org dot org. Yep. And uh, tell me a little bit about what about this. Okay, so Photo Forum uh, had has actually been running for about five years. Okay. Um, and I took the lead of the organizing team a year ago. Um, and we put on a talk once a month mm -hmm. in London um, for photographers, working photographers, to come and network, connect with each other, and learn from other photographers. So we have two speakers who talk about their work, why they do what they do, how they do what they do. Um, we try and keep it more creative than technical. Okay. Um, and then for people to connect and socialize with each other, bring the yeah. photo community together. Sure, sure. Collaborate a little bit. Absolutely, yeah. Well, please tell us a little bit about where we can find you online and you know how someone can follow along with the projects that you're working on because you're doing a lot and it's, it's great to see and I think we all want to see a little bit more of it. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, the, the project's on my website, uh -huh. which is travishodges.co.uk. Dot co dot UK. UK. Yeah. Uh, and you can find me on Twitter, obviously, with this project. Um, I'm at Travis Hodges UK. At Travis Hodges UK. And that's T R A V I S H O D G E S. Yes. UK. Yeah, that's it. Okay, great. Quite a long Twitter <laughs> handle, but you know, I've got to fit everything in. Well, there. I got to say thank you for coming in and joining us today. This is really, this is really great, and I'm glad that we were able to get you in here and have a little conversation with you. Great. Thanks so much. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs>